crews will be back out on Little Wall Lake near Jewel this morning, hoping to find a missing Iowa State student. A boat with five members of the crew club capsized on the lake yesterday, yesterday morning. Three people were saved. One body was found, but the last person remains missing. Our Caitlin Thompson joins us live from Little Wall Lake this morning with more. Yes, good morning, Jody. We're told this incident happened yesterday morning around 930. Members of the Iowa State University's crew club were out on the lake practicing when their boat capsized. The Hamilton County Sheriff describes the conditions at the time were pretty dangerous. There was pretty good northwest winds. We're guessing anywhere from 20 to 25 mile an hour winds and in the, rough, the lake was pretty rough. By the time that rescue crews had arrived after getting the call, there were several people who witnessed the boat turn over. We're told nearby residents had jumped into the lake to try and save the students. Now, as you mentioned earlier, three students were rescued and treated at Mary Greeley Medical Center in Ames. One of the witnesses yesterday was Roger Fritz, and he lives on the west side of the lake. He tells us that the club does practice on this lake often and that the water temperature is likely dangerously cold. The ice just came off the lake three weeks ago, so I haven't stuck my hand in, but I got to imagine the, the water temperature is 40 or 45 degrees because, yeah, like three weeks ago, it was solid ice out there. A dive team recovered the body of one student and crews spent the entire day yesterday trying to find that fifth student. Nothing has come up yet, but search efforts will resume today. Now, ISU President Wendy Winterstein released the following statement saying in part, the Iowa State community is heartbroken to learn of this tragic accident at Little Wall Lake. At this time, we are focused on providing support to club members, their families and friends. We ask that everyone keep them in their thoughts during this very difficult time. Now, right now, we do not know the names of those involved in this tragedy. But as I said, search efforts will continue today to find that missing fifth student, Jody. Okay, such a sad situation there. Thanks so much, Kaylin, for that update.